Everybody's waiting on the Levi question, I know. <laughs> Levi Johnson is um, the father of Sarah's grandson, and Levi has been making the press rounds and has a lot of unflattering things to say about uh, Sarah Palin. You and Bristol were dating for several years, right? Mm -hmm. Had you been having sex for several years? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Levi Johnston was an Alaskan teenager who worked in oil fields, played hockey, and dropped out of high school. In 2008, he's informed that his girlfriend is pregnant. This girl's name is Bristol Palin. This is a problem because Bristol's mother, Vice President nominee Sarah Palin, has to present herself at the Republican National Convention with her running mate John McCain, and the Republican Party doesn't look favorably to the type of premarital deeds Levi gets up to. Sarah Palin announces the marriage of Levi and Bristol live at the RNC in front of the whole world in an attempt to send a message that pregnant teens should marry each other. No family ever seems typical, and that's how it is with us. Our family has the same ups and downs as any other. A year later, Bristol and Levi break their engagement. But after being thrust into the political world stage, Levi decides to take advantage of the position that he's been put into. He does a series of television interviews that put him, Sarah Palin, and the situation into a new perspective. It was more of a, you know, we told them that uh, we're, we're, you know, Bristol's pregnant. And then they're like, hey, you're getting, you know, you gotta get married now. I was like, I really didn't have a damn choice whether I was getting married or not. I mean, I was doing it whether I wanted to. The entertainment world is enamored by his story, and Levi becomes an icon. He appears in numerous ads. Levi Johnston does it with protection. Wonderful pistachios. Has songs written about him. Do says you, Levi. I'm like, yes, that's me, sir. Well, he just knocked up the VP nominee's daughter. And even appears in the Teen Choice Awards. It's your new lady? It's just a friend. <laughs> just a friend. <laughs> Another year later, Levi publicly apologizes for everything he said about the Palin family in the past year. And he tells people.com, quote, I publicly said things about the Palins that were not completely true. A week after this apology, he announces he's engaged to Bristol yet again. Many theorize that these two events are related. When the second engagement inevitably breaks apart, Levi states publicly that he regrets his apology. Was that an honest apology? Do you still feel that way? Um, that was, uh, something I did to make my fiancé happy. Well, why would you say something that's not true if it wasn't true? Trust me, it's easier to make them happy. And as one does when grasping at fading relevancy, he begins his campaign to run for mayor of Wasilla, Alaska. Uh, the, the current mayor, this, this campaign is pretty rough. We talked about some rough campaigns. He said about you, he said, I think it would be wise for him to get a high school diploma and keep his clothes on. The voters like that. It'll burn, yeah. What do you say to that? Well, I'm just going to come out and beat him. That's, I mean, I don't really need to say nothing to the guy. With his dashing confidence and witty charm, he quickly became the most unpopular mayoral candidate in Alaskan history with 6% approval and a 72% disapproval rating. Six weeks before the election, Levi drops out of the running, citing that he's too busy trying to sell his new memoir, Deer in the Headlights, My Life in Sarah Palin's Crosshairs. No, but it went downhill real quick. <laughs> Apparently I got someone else pregnant that I ain't seen in five years and every, you know. It, How'd it, you do that? <laughs>